back to my channel alien tag champion if you have not like and subscribe the channel please like and subscribe the channel this is free of course you can go to the google or youtube just uh, type alien tag champion and you will see my channel here here and as soon as you open you will just land it with my channel okay so that you will get the informations on anything related to the mobile or anything related to the mobile device management and right apple ios or any mdm system okay so today i am going to talk about how you can encrypt the usb drive i mean usb external drive through the microsoft intune so as soon as this is microsoft in endpoint website uh, microsoft endpoint portal okay or you can call the intune portal as soon as you land it with this uh, portal you have to go to the endpoint security tab and and here you have to go to this uh, uh, disk encryptions right so here you have to go to the disk encryptions and since i have already created so i'm not gonna show you i i will i will just create a new policy for your reference you you can select windows 10 and later you can select for my as well so i am going to show you for windows 10 devices select the bitlocker policy and you see here bitlocker drive encryption is a data protection feature that that actually integrate with the operating system and address the threat of data left right so and and you can also monitor the encryption report so let's get created i will say usb encryption usb encryptions okay let it be and you don't have to do anything here right you you don't turn on anything here and there is two way either you can create this uh, uh, disk inhibitions policy from endpoint security or from the uh, a configurations policy so if you uh, if you not uh, if you don't have any intentions to uh, encrypt anything uh, on a fixed drive or any os drive don't turn on anything just let it be not configured or else if you turn on and again if you not click on not configure the policy may work so this is what i have observed so i am saying don't touch anything if you are not planning to uh, apply the bit locker encryption so in this video i am going to show you how you can encrypt so there is a, right there is four sections here base settings base setting will apply to uh, all right and this is for operating system and fixed drive this is for storage card to be encrypted mobile only right and hide prompt for third party encryptions and this is client recovery password rotation recovery part password rotation and this is for generic so we want to so you want to disable it you want to enable rotation or you want to enable rotation on if you are using hybrid azure ready join or azure both azure ready join so i am not uh, use um, you uh, using any recovery password so i am just showing your recover removal drive setting here it said not configured by default it's everything is not configured so you see bit local drive policy if you click on then this is very long encryption that the policy setting used to control encryption method the value of the policy determines so must read and understand what is actually xts aes algorithm and microsoft always recommend you see microsoft always recommend to use xts aes algorithm for removal drive and you should also use right and changing this encryption method has no impact if the device is already encrypted so if you change it it will not impact so let it get configured and you want to configure this removal drive configure encryption method for the removal drive of course we want to configure and we have to select microsoft xts you can select 256 bit or 128 as per your requirement so i'm selecting 256 bit which is more secure i feel block write access of removal you want to block write access of course yes you want to block write access to devices configured to another organizations no or you want to block it just let it be blocked so you can read it if you just hover on i button you will see so this setting will block prevent removal drive write access unless they were con encrypted on computer on by your organizations so if it's encrypted by another organizations 
then you you want to block it of course you want to block it if not at pin no so these three policy you have to configure it so that uh, even if the USB drive is allowed, the user will be asked as soon as their devices enroll into or manage through the Microsoft Endpoint Manager, the USB drive will be encrypted. Similar like you can do for OS drive, fixed drive. I have already shown in my video, so I am not going into, into detail. I am just showing because this USB blocking is most uh, major concern for, for, the, for the any, any, any organization. So these three settings you can do it if you want to block completely the usb drive i have also made the video you can go on and watch so now you have to you want to apply to the ad groups or all devices i am selecting all devices right and then that's it